Hi, I'm Greg Coop Cooper. Most people know me as Coop. Uh, this is my van, the Barnstormer. This was the second van that I ever owned. I bought this truck new back in 1975. It now has historical plates on it, sort of like me. I've had this van, oh, to most of the nationals that I've been to. I haven't driven a lot in the last 10 years probably because I have other projects and other vans I'm working on. But this is one of those vans that I just can't seem to let go of. It's more like I'd have to be like selling my leg if I were to get rid of this truck. Back about 1977, 76, uh, I got the bug to customize the truck. Um, in 77 was the 50th anniversary of Lindbergh crossing the Atlantic and it kind of struck me as a neat idea for a theme for my truck. I've always been an airplane buff and uh, that's kind of where, where the theme came from on my truck. Uh, I've always been into the custom body thing and over the years I've done a, lo a number of, of uh, custom touches to the truck. Uh, the grill was an idea that I got from a van back in the 70s called Rocky Mountain High with the split split bar grill the way it is. I thought it, it was a Ford van that, was, that, that I saw that on. I thought it would look cool on my truck. So I did that, shaved the bumpers off the front. It's got a hooker hood on it. Uh, the wheels, have, I've had two or, three, two or three different sets of wheels through the years. The wheels are American Eagles. That's the latest set of wheels I put on it. It's hard to find wheels the 15s anymore to put on a on a van they did, everybody's going to the bigger size wheels so uh, I hunted around until I found those they really look good on the truck but I, the last time I repainted it was about uh, let's see about eight or nine years ago but the mural on the back is the original mural when I first got into doing custom paint work striping I got hooked up with a, a guy by the name of Juan Parker he was a mural painter back in Columbus, painted all the custom vans from Central Ohio. He did that mural for me the first time I painted the truck and I've managed to save it every time I've painted the truck. And uh, poor old Juan, he's dead now. He's been gone for a number of years. So that mural is kind of special to me. Uh, back door is a, is a going, um, it's actually a fiberglass gullwing door that I put on shortly after the gullwings became available for vans back in the late 70s, I suppose. The bumper on the back is a hand-carved uh, propeller. I used a regular airplane propeller as a guide, but a regular propeller is too thin to be able to mount it on the truck, so I made one a little bit heavier and uh, carved it myself. The tail lights are French, the side markers have been taken off. A uh, number of custom touches like sunken antennas, that kind of thing. Uh, and of course the candy paint job, which is something I really like. It's a take off on the old barnstorming days. The, the pilots of the 30s, the 20s and the 30s were really akin to the to the vanners of today they would take their planes and travel around the country and do air shows and basically lived in their planes under their wings or whatever and uh, took rides and that kind of stuff to people to show off their airplanes now, that's one of the original visors from way back in the 70s I always thought that was a cool look on the vans the van has a vinyl top on it it's been replaced a couple times it actually probably could stand a little bit of work it's uh, starting to show its age vinyl top uh, it's cooler, it's, it's a custom touch. I always thought it looked good on the van. I'll probably always have the vinyl top. Uh, the interior is all rough wood. Uh, it's a takeoff on one of the vans that I saw years ago. I really like that look. Everything in here is cherry, rough cherry that uh, I got from a mill, uh, millwright that I know. Uh, he had a lot of scrap, what he considered to be scrap boards. Uh, which I found to be perfect for uh, the rough wood look inside. But every one of those boards has been cut, planed, and fit one at a time. It took me about a year and a half of cutting wood to finish this interior. And of course it's been in there for 30 years. So 
it's showing a little bit of wear, but it's my uh, home away from home. You know, when I feel like I need a truck that's going to be comfortable to travel in, this is the one I take. It's got uh, wood running boards on the outside. They're oak. Um, him, you know, I made those to go along with the inside. Uh, of course, the wood running boards was a was a big thing back in the 70s, and they're really practical as far as I'm concerned. Makes it a lot easier getting in and out of the truck. Keeps the crap off the side of your van, you know that kind of stuff. And I just like the look. A lot of guys have taken them off in recent years, but this van really looks better with them on there. The motor in the truck is the original 350. V8. It's got about 150,000 miles on it. Uh, I've had to replace the transmission in it once, uh, but the motor is basically stock. I've done some dress-up stuff on there, but it's you know not a not a huge showpiece underneath there. But it runs great. It gets me where I'm going, and I've never had a lick of trouble with it. Chevy great motor. I've been a member of a van club in uh, Central Ohio, Vans on the Run, since the late 70s. Uh, a lot of people think that vanning has gone away, but we're still at it. We're still plugging away. We still put on the Nationals every year. Uh, this is the second time in two years we've been at this site, and uh, our numbers have actually gone up in recent years. Uh, we're getting a lot of interest from a lot of new guys, and the early model thing has really picked up in recent years. Uh, we have what we consider an early model is anything pre-70 where the motor was between the seats inside the truck, flat nose. Uh, those have become big, especially with the younger guys. But we're still plugging away, doing all the stuff. Van clubs are still out there. And uh, we have a great time. You might think we're a bunch of old hippies, but we're not. <laughs> we're just like the hot rod guys. We just got our own little genre going on here. So if you are interested in finding out more about vanning, uh, you can go to vanning.com, uh, you can go to the National Trucking Board website, you can go to several different places that are linked. Uh, there's a lot of information out there on vanning. All you gotta do is look for it and come and see us. We'd love to have you come out.